Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and Android 7.1.1 is now rolling out to various Nexus devices, including the 6P, 5X, I know the Pixel C is getting it as well. Now, Android 7.1 has been on the Pixel and Pixel XL for a little while now, but the Nexus devices are now receiving it as 7.1.1, so you'll see Android version 7.1.1, Easter eggs the exact same as Android 7.0, check out my Android 7.0 Nougat review, I'll link to that below. Now this is a very small update, so don't expect a lot of big and major changes. Now some of the minor changes that have been made, one of them being an extra toggle got added up at the top. So now there are six little buttons right there instead of five. Now jumping into settings, you also notice support was added. So you'll see phone and chat options. So if you need any help with your device, anything like that, you can go ahead and jump to that. Now another nice added feature is app shortcuts and something that you can do is press and hold on various icons and those are what app shortcuts look like. Now not all apps are gonna have them, a lot of third party apps are, uh, the developer will need to implement these app shortcuts but you'll see Twitter has it, new message, new tweet, search, you can go ahead and go to message, open a new conversation as well, the Play Store will open up your apps. Uh, various ones such as play music, you can go to recent activity, I'm feeling lucky. So there have been apps that have added these app shortcuts. Now, I want to make a note that if you want to move and rearrange, all you have to do is press and hold and keep holding down and then move it around and you can do so. And also it's worth noting, if you press and hold on something and then press and hold on one of these shortcuts, you can go ahead and drop it anywhere. And basically what that's going to do is if you press that icon, it's going to open up a new message within Twitter. So you can quickly do that without having to press and hold and tap you can just go ahead and tap. Now next is an update to the keyboard and they have added various emojis specifically in terms of occupations and gender as well. So I know men and women got added to specific ones. You can still press and hold, change the color of your emojis and you'll notice here's a detective, an astronaut, uh, a bunch of various ones. So you'll see maybe some professors, a coder, I don't know, just a bunch of various emojis got added. You'll have to swipe through to actually find out all of the various new ones. And then you'll see GIF, GIF, however you want to pronounce it. It really doesn't matter to me. You can go ahead and tap on it and you can search, search them. You'll see high five, clapping, thumbs up. All you really have to do is tap on it, go ahead and send it on off. So very easy, you can do, uh, do a quick search as well if you'd like to. Nice that that is integrated into the Google Keyboard app. Next, I'm gonna jump back into settings and go into storage because there's a nice smart storage option where it can help you free up some space on your device. You tap these three dots, go to free up space, and you'll see you can choose items to remove, whether it be photo videos, downloads, or apps. And it's nice because it synchronizes with Google Photos where it will back up your photos and then delete them off your internal storage to free up space, but you will still have your pictures as well. Now jumping back, there, I wanna talk about moves and uh, jump to camera, double tap the power button, not new, but that is still there. You can flip camera, I'll show you that in a second. And then lift to check phone to quickly check your notifications, pick up your phone. So what that does is maybe if your phone's sitting on a table, anything like that, you can go ahead and pick it on up. And I don't have any notifications right now, but you'll see the uh, date and time did pop up when I picked up my phone, but notifications will show up if you have that uh, checked. Now let's double tap the power button. And like I mentioned, it should open the camera up. Now, you, well, like I mentioned, that other move is twist. So you double twist and it flips to that front facing camera. So there's me and the camera. You can double twist and go back to the rear camera as well. Also a quick note, I believe this color temperature got added to the camera where you can have cloudy, you can have fluorescent, sunny and tungsten as well. Finally, you'll also notice when you press and hold the power button, there is a restart button. Now, some of you may be asking if specific features from the Pixel are on here. Google Assistant is not there. Press and hold the home button. And all it is is that screen search right there. So you'll see Assistant is on the Pixel only at the moment. Now, with that being said, there's also no Daydream support. There is on the Pixel. If I go into the Play Store, you'll see devices not compatible with this version. So very interesting. They haven't added Daydream support yet to your Nexus 6P. Another Bummer, that's not included, is nightlight. That's not there. So you'll see if I tap this uh, icon right here, nightlight, turns nightlight on, where it'll kind of get rid of some of the blues on the display. You can go ahead and turn that off as well, but that is not on the Nexus 6P with the 7.1.1 update. And finally, you'll notice the launcher's different. So the Pixel launcher does not transfer over. You just have your standard Google Now launcher as well on your 6P. But anyways, that's about it. That would be the Android 7.1.1 update on my Nexus 6P. Like I said, it's on other various Nexus devices as well. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, click that thumbs up, click that subscribe button as well. Lots more to come. As always guys, thank you very much for watching.